What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Marcus, aka Crooked Mark. Just wanted to do uh, a quick little sneaker review on the Puma Creeper. I had a few uh, requests for it, actually. Um, I know I talked about it a little bit in my top five, uh, which you can check um, on my channel. I'll leave a little link to it. I gave a few details uh, about sizing and fit, uh, but I'll go into a little bit more detail with it here today. So, Without further ado, here is my Puma Creeper in the black, star white, black colorway. Um, as I stated in my top five, if you haven't already seen that, this is one of my favorite shoes. This was my number one purchase of 2015. Um, and I really, really love them. So let's get into it. Um, so, <clears throat> First thing I want to kind of talk about about this shoe is the suede, which is kind of the key component of the shoe. Uh, it is based on the classic Puma suede. Uh, so that's what you get the really nice suede upper going on here. Um, and I'll try to get in kind of close with that. So you can kind of see it, see the texture of the suede. And you can see I wear this shoe a lot. We've got a little bit of creasing going on already in the toe. Um, so the whole shoe is suede. They went with a wax lace there with the gold tip, which is a nice touch. Uh, and then you have the gold hit right there on the side with the Puma branding, um, as well as, let me just loosen this up a little bit. As well as the gold hit on the Puma branding on the tongue, uh, which also includes the by Rihanna on it, which is really cool. Uh, and then that gold hit in the back on that Puma logo as well, uh, which is really nice. Going into the inside, you have the the leather wrapped inside. So you, the, the whole thing is leather, um, leather around around the ankle uh, and inside of the, the heel. The footbed has a leather insole and it has the, uh, I don't know if you can see it with my camera, but the Fenty by Puma thing going on inside of there, which is really cool. Um, and really comfortable actually, uh, having that leather insole. Uh, now you get down to that thicker creeper sole there, as you can see, and it's kind of ridged, like kind of like that look, because it, it really turns this from a basic Puma suede shoe, um, which I'm not like a huge fan of, to something a little bit different, I think, kind of punk rock, maybe a little high fashion, um, which I like about this. The bottom of the shoe, which is really simple, just the ridged uh, creeper sole kind of finished off. Uh, and then you have that Puma branding right there, uh, which is really nice. So not a lot of like real, you know, technical benefits about this shoe. I mean, it's, it's a very basic, simple, kind of classic silhouette. Uh, reimagined um, in, a, in kind of another classic style being the Creeper. I thought it was a really cool idea and it looks really good on feet, which I am going to show you a little bit later in the video on foot with a couple of different style of pants. I like to wear a more skinny jean, so I'll, I'll kind of, you know, base it on that. I'll do it with like my black skinny jeans as well as my EPTN zip bottom pants that you've seen in a couple of my videos. And I'll do it also with like a skinny sweatpants so you can see how they look with sweatpants. I'm not really a big fan of them with like sweatpants or joggers because um, I think that the shoe um, just the, 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 the length of the shoe and how kind of long it looks, it just doesn't look as good with that style to me. But, I mean, you be the judge. I'll show it to you on foot. So this is the box that came in, just the completely blacked out box with the Fenty printed on, on, on the top there. Uh, and then you have the Puma branding on both sides of the box there. And then your simple size tag, size, price, barcode tag going on there. Um, and then if you open it up, you just got simple, you know, Puma paper, Puma tag paper. Um, and it does come with an extra set of laces. This is a, more of a normal lace, lace. It's not a, it's more of a normal lace. It's not the leather lace that came in the shoe. So, and it doesn't have, um, as you can see here, the gold tips. 
like that one does. So probably want to hold on to those leather laces as long as you can. Anyway, so back to the actual Puma. Um, one thing that I will say about the sizing, which I talked about a little bit in my um, in my top five, they only come in size 10, 11, and 12 in men's. If you have a small foot that will not work for you, you may need to try the women's ones. I think for my next pair personally, I'm going to try to get a women's 11 just to see if it might fit a little bit better than these. These are a little bit big on my feet and you may see it. Not so big that they're flopping off of my feet, but I can definitely tell that there's a little bit of space there. Once again, if you have a smaller foot, the shoe may not necessarily work for you. You can try the women's sizes. Hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on a pair of, of the women's ones. Puma, Rihanna, if you're watching my video, hook a brother up. I really, really, really like this shoe. I would love to review the women's ones just to see since my foot is on the smaller side. I'm like a nine and a half, ten. Um, I'd like to see if maybe that would work out for people with smaller feet. Next, on feet. Please, if you like my videos, click that thumbs up. Comment. Love those comments. Comments are reason, the reason why I'm actually doing this video. Um, and subscribe, share. Like, I really want to expand this channel a little bit, meet some really cool people, be able to help a few people out because I've drawn a lot of inspiration from different YouTubers over the last few months. And I, I'm hoping that maybe I can share a little bit of like my style and my sensibility. And hopefully, someone will be saying the same thing about me on their YouTube channel. Uh, anyway, so on foot.